Hey everybody, Brett from Stardees Gaming here, back with another episode of our RimWorld Warhammer 40k Let's Play. So, uh, I am recording this the day probably that you guys are going to be seeing it. Um, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with no videos for another day this week, but I've been crazy busy, so I'm playing catch up once again. And normally I wouldn't jump back in and record until there was something interesting happening. Um, that's not really the case here. This wouldn't normally be a point that I kind of jump back in to update you guys with. Uh, we've got some visitors, and we've gotten some stuff done, but ultimately, I mean, there's not like a raid happening or anything like that. So, I figured it would be better to give you guys a video, even a slow one, rather than nothing at all. And I can kind of just fill you guys in on what's been happening in the meantime. So, we do have armor production up and running. You can actually see, it's easier to see on Remy, I feel like, but we have a full set of uh, Kasserkin Carapace armor on Remy, and then Zima has the armor but not the helmet. And so what I've started doing is rather than producing uh, flak armor, I'm just producing Carapace armor, and the important people, or the people that do a lot of our fighting, will get the Carapace armor, and we'll just pass down the flak armor to the people that need armor less. That way we're not producing both and you know slowing down our production, wasting resources on armors that we don't really need. Although I may eventually start producing some more as we go along, just because there are a lot of people and I don't necessarily need everybody in care pace armor, just the you know the people that do a lot of fighting. Uh, what else? We got attacked by some iguanas. You can see a bunch of dead ones here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to rescue those before. Uh, or, you know, freeze them before they spoiled. So they're just sitting there. And we were able to trade a couple of radium rifles for this Imperial Quad rocket launcher. Uh, the current guest's sheet here sold that to us. Uh, and I think it cost us the equivalent of two radium rifles for that. And so we have one, or sorry, radium carbine. We have one radium carbine left. And I think for the most part, we have everybody rocking 40k weapons, um, at least the people that have weapons. Let's see, yeah, a lot of las guns, chainsword, chainsword. Uh, you still don't have anything. I should probably get you... I'd like to get her a las gun, I think. I thought she was carrying a shotgun, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I had her carrying a pump action shotgun. She may have dropped it, but I don't know when she would have done that. But anyways, uh, we can have her re-equip it. Maybe it got hauled back there after she dropped it or something. More las guns, right? Uh, she's still got a bolt action rifle. We'll fix that eventually. And more las guns and then a sniper. Uh, reason being is she's a pretty good shot and the sniper rifle is a decent weapon. Eventually though, I'd like to get her either a long las, which is in here. Let's see, long las, there it is. So um, that is something that we can do. Or we have the option of going for the Exodus sniper rifle, which is what, like, the... I don't remember which branch of the Assassins it is. It could be the Vindicars. Vindicars. Um, but this is uh, an Assassin sniper rifle, so that would be an interesting weapon for us to utilize as well. I don't know what the pros and cons of them are, so we won't really know until we craft one of each. But it's something to definitely look into because some of our sharpshooters are definitely going to want better rifles than just the standard uh, las guns. And so, you know, we'll have to decide which one is better suited to our needs. It is worth pointing out that the long las, I believe we can research right now. We've already done all the prerequisite stuff. Well, actually, no, we're doing one of the prerequisite things right now. I've got special weapons going, and then I've queued up cogitators. I don't know what the cogitators do, but I figured we should probably find out. Because cogitators in 40k are essentially like computers, and it doesn't look like they're required for anything. But I'm sure they serve some purpose, and so I'd like to figure out what exactly that is. But anyways, after the cogitators, we could maybe look into the long las. If we wanted to do the Exodus sniper rifle, we'd have to go through advanced construction, bolt guns, and then that. So that's kind of a ways down the line. But we're obviously going to do bolt guns eventually, so... That's something we can consider. And the research path is very similar to hell guns, which we're going to want to be able to make as well. Especially for our people that are rocking the carapace armor. Anyways, that's what's going on with research. Um, again, we're producing a lot of the Imperial components and stuff. 
Not a whole lot of progress made on the weapon fabricator, unfortunately. Most of our resources are going immediately into the armors, which I'm sort of okay with. We have a decent variety of weapons already. Prison's coming along. Um, we're roofing this off with transparent uh, roofing so that the light will naturally shine through. And we don't need to worry about lighting that. I toyed with the idea of having these Devil Strand curtains here to separate these rooms off. Unfortunately, um, they are not compatible with the unlocked doors mod, so the prisoners would be stuck in there if I did that. And let's see what else. This is mostly fenced off. I still need to actually put the gate in. I, I wanted to have them here as well, but for whatever reason, these won't actually connect to the walls, and I don't like the way that looks, so I'm just going to get rid of it since it didn't really... It was more aesthetic than functional anyways, so, you know, whatever. Just going to get rid of it. And then we've been having a little bit of issues with our freezer. Not so much the way it functions, just that people keep coming and going in and out of it. And so I've restricted the area. It's not part of our main zone anymore. And so there's only certain people allowed in there to keep people from just kind of wandering in and hanging out. Uh, you may also notice that I knocked out one of the coolers that was right here to open up this area and added quite a few more. So this should stay colder easier. But we'll see. It's quite warm right now. We are losing a little bit of food because of it. But it's, it's fine. It'll sort itself out. And then... Um, oh, right, Mirage's Commissar coat is on the ground there because we were dealing with a, a brief heat wave and it got quite warm. And apparently this thing does not deal with heat very well. Um, yeah, you can actually see it actually hurts her heat tolerance because it's, it's dromedary leather. So we'll have to see if there's better materials to make these out of that will, you know, have less issue with heat. If it were, you know, cold out, that would be a great thing to have, but unfortunately not the case here. So, let's start the clock, we'll get moving, and when people start waking up, I'll give you a better look at the Carapace armor. Um, well, we'll draft Remy or something and have him face the camera. Oh, one of our generators just broke down, we'll have to have somebody fix that. Shouldn't be a problem though. Uh, let's slow things down just a little bit, and we got an escape pod. Oh, okay. Kovi. Right, um... You got stabbed three times. You're bleeding pretty profusely. Are you a decent character? You can't fight, which is annoying. Um, but good at social. Could be good at cooking. Um, and crafting your research. So, um, we could make use of you. I mean, you're not an ideal character, but I'm sure we could find something for you to do. What do you have on you? Just Synthread clothing? Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, Skinner, what are you up to? You're hauling silver. Could you... Do we rescue or do we capture? That is the question. What faction are you from? Wait. When did we meet you before? Apparently, he's got a thing with Citra, but... I don't know that we've ever... Oh, I'm... I have Skinner highlighted. I'm such an idiot. I guess Skinner has a thing with Citra. I didn't know that. Okay, so yeah, no relationships. Um, are you part of a faction? Hmm. I guess what we'll do is we'll rescue, and then if he decides to just, like, get up and leave after he's healed, we'll capture him then. But if we can just get him to join willingly without having to do all that, I would prefer it. So... Let's make that happen. And, right, these beds are still getting moved around. It's taking them quite a while. Is this finally starting to cool off? Oh, yeah, it shot down pretty quickly, actually. Again, with, with that many coolers, it better. So, I don't think we'll lose any more food. What I've been doing is using the rice and dromedary meat to make fine meals. Or, um, in some cases, pemmican. We're starting to build up quite a bit of pemmican. And then the uh, orc flesh... And the rice is getting turned into kibble. Uh, although that's a much lower priority. I just... Even though they're considered animals... Oh, nice. Okay, even though orcs are considered animals... And they can be eaten without any debuffs that I'm aware of... It just didn't seem right from a roleplay perspective. I don't feel like the Imperial Guard would ever eat orc corpses unless they were just absolutely desperate which right now we're not 
So I figured um, we'll use them. We're not going to waste them, but I'm not going to have the colonists actually eating them. We'll feed them to the animals. So yeah, there's that. Um, sandbag got moved over here. These are queued up for destruction. The Browning machine guns now on this corner, so it's not firing over people's heads or into their backs. Um, I, I honestly don't know. Some of these turrets fire over walls, and so they might not be an issue in terms of firing over people. I don't know if the Browning machine gun is one of those turrets, but there are several in the mod that do that. This way, I think we'll be okay. I, I do know that the friendly fire we took in defending this area was all from las guns, so it could be the case, but, you know, better safe than sorry. And then we have made some progress over here. Um, you can see we have these little pillboxes set up. We'll get doors on them eventually. This is going to be double airlocked. I wish I had enough space to do it over here. Unfortunately, we just don't. But, um, I mean, I guess I could close this hallway off or something, add doors in here and here. But yeah, this is going to have a, a door on each little pillbox and then a door to this little access room. That way, there should be even less temperature transfer. And we'll see how that works out. And then um, we're slowly filling in the walls over here. Eventually, we'll get this all roofed off and then mine out this area. Again, we'll have another cooling hub here, which should help keep the hallways a little bit chillier than they are now. And I'd like to start adding more power to our grid eventually as well but components are kind of at a premium right now we're buying them we have quite a few because we're buying them at every opportunity but at the same time um, we are going through them very very quickly so that's something as well uh, did you get treated no you're just like bleeding let's see you're definitely not capable of it Halleck it's six o'clock you guys can get up and start start doing it um, before we do that there's like so many things in that spot. Before we do that, let's see. Since those are pretty serious wounds, I'm gonna let them use herbal medicine right out of the gate because these do have a, a fairly high chance of infection. Whereas something more minor obviously wouldn't and I wouldn't waste medicine. But here I, I will use it. So Halleck, if you can um, tend to him real quick, that'd be great. I think we have plenty of herbal medicine too. I don't think there's any shortage of it. 62 yeah so i don't i don't mind too much again i don't like wasting it when it's not necessary but in this case i feel like it wouldn't hurt uh who lacks a range weapon oh you do well i don't have a a las gun for you yet we'll try to get him one i keep meaning to install well install is not the right word i already have it installed i keep meaning to load the sidearms mod alongside this playthrough we were running it in other playthroughs but um, I want to use it in this one so that people can have, like, say, a las gun and, like, a combat knife. But uh, I just keep forgetting. And then somebody suggested a mod that will allow us to fire on the move at a reduced accuracy. So I kind of want to consider that as well. Because that's that to me, that seems realistic. Like, you can definitely fire and move at the same time. You're just not as accurate when you do it. And so if that's how it's reflected in game, I don't mind it. All right, let's take a quick look at Remy here. So here's the back of the carapace armor. You can see it's got the Kasserkin uh, camouflage pattern on there. And then if we draft you, uh, there's a look at the helmet. So it's got the rebreather and visor and stuff. Uh, again, I'm sourcing these from like painted miniatures. So I, I kind of like the aesthetic of that in game. I think it works really well. Uh, I keep saying this, but people keep asking, so I'll keep repeating it. I will release these, but only once they're done. There's still a lot that needs to get finished, because I've only done um, certain armor sets for certain body types. Um, in the case of the flak armor, they're done for every body type. This one is done for most of them, but the uh, space marine armor is only done for one body type. The... Um, what else? The... Commissar coats are only done for like two body types, so there's there's still work to be done, but they will get released when they're finished. I may even add additional armors so that there's more variety. For example, I wanted to add something that the Commissars could wear under their coats that looked like a Commissar, you know, carapace armor or whatever they wear. It, it looks more just like a medieval, you know, chest plate, but it's got all sorts of designs on it. Anyways, uh, I want to implement that as its own armor and so I have to write a new XML for it 
but I feel like that would be better than trying to like shoehorn it in as part of another armor and then there's weird body type limitations so that's something I'm working on as well but I as I've said I've been very busy with real life stuff and so that you know takes precedence over retextures for RimWorld uh, let's see so everybody's running around they should have stuff to do this system here is not working as well as I had hoped essentially um, the way it was meant to work is that she would have rice and you know meat raw meat here that she could pull from and then she would cook it and place the meals here and when it does work it works incredibly well she doesn't have to move from this spot so she can pull the resources cook and then drop the meal off without ever leaving this little square but she is incapable of dumb labor which includes hauling so she won't load these herself and that makes this incredibly frustrating um, to the point where I'll probably replace her as a cook just because that alone is enough to make this absolute hell so we may see Bragg picking up those duties um, I don't think you need any more medicine if if he gets an infection we'll change that but for now it's fine uh, what was I saying so we may give it back to Bragg this guy actually could be a decent cook with a little bit of practice we can have him just start cranking out um, simple meals until he's you know better at it but yeah it just it's not working and I don't want to allow the animals in here because they just make an absolute mess of things and you can see just people coming and going is really killing the temperature in there I I do want to airlock it the problem is these spaces are awkward because they're two by two and so I would need like another blast door here or something the blast doors themselves are fairly slow so I'm almost considering replacing them with say like we could do these one by two wooden doors or something I just think they look really stupid because they're just the regular one by one doors stretched out and to me it just doesn't look right but a, a wooden door would be the fastest thing that we could have there and so that might be better if we just had a single door but again I think an airlock might still be necessary I don't know I don't know freezers are always a pain in the ass especially in an environment like this where it's always insanely hot outside so like even this airlock isn't enough to prevent the hallways from warming up but I think once we have the second cooling hub going it should be enough to mitigate it you know with an extra however many what six coolers running and that one we don't know if that's overhead mountain or not yet but I I do have a mod that allows me to remove it if necessary so let's see is this still unroofed yeah mostly I think it's yeah it's because of this over here they just haven't filled it in yet we're getting there though getting there um, what else is going on is somebody already fixed that good what are you up to you're making Imperial components fantastic let's see we have nine of them laying around and then we have some refined ceramite a little bit of refined adamantium and we have the power core so we actually have a lot of the resources we need for this what are you making another carapace armor okay so we need 15 of the ceramite 10 components one power core and that's it this is set up that's where a lot of our silver is going by the way um, some of these take silver and so even though we're getting silver it's getting turned into imperial components which I'm kind of okay with because that's actually lowering our net wealth which means the raids are easier but I have this set so that they will continue making components until we have 10 of them stockpiled and then they'll stop as soon as those get used up we'll start making more uh, I've got it set for two power cores and then um, 15 ceramite it looks like somebody started one and didn't finish it and then of course five ad adamantium but we don't need that right now for anything although the armors might require it uh, I don't know I'll have to check here I guess so let's see care base armor no that's just components and ceramite those are actually fairly cheap and that's the um, that's the care base armor too uh, and a hundred ceramite the 
regular one is 4, 4, and 75. So it's it's a little bit cheaper, but not so much so that it's, you know, hard to justify the care pace. In fact, the care pace is, I think, pretty considerably better. Let's let's look at the stats. Unfortunately, his is poor quality, but yeah. So let's see. Um, plus, or sorry, minus 25, 27 to their cold resistance. Not that that really matters here. And plus 9 to their heat resistance. Covers basically the entire body except for the head. We get 50, almost 60% armor against electric, 42.5 against heat, and 93.5 against sharp or like penetration stuff. So bullets um, and sharp weapons. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. And the helmet is, I think, very similar. So yeah, quite a bit of cold resistance plus another 3 to our heat resistance. Um, nearly 60% against um, sharp. This one actually provides armor against blunt as well, so like getting clubbed over the head is a little bit more protected with this. And then a little bit against heat and electric as well, so yeah, really good armor there. And then keep in mind that this is poor quality as well, so it, a superior one like the helmet would be better. Let's see. Oh, hers is good. So, 10.5 for heat. 77 against electric. 121% against sharp. That is pretty damn good. Compare that to, let's see... This is just normal quality, but we'll look at this flak armor. So only 40 against sharp. Quite the upgrade. So yeah, as I was saying, I, a lot of our fighters are going to be wearing those just because um, A, I think they look cooler, and B, it's a better armor. And so we'll make them for the people that are fighting quite often. Ooh, cargo pods. And what we get? More kibble. Well, let's um, unforbid those. And we'll get this hauled as well. Not in a huge rush for that. I have a ton of kibble out already. I'm, I don't even know if the animals are eating it, to be honest. Um, the thing with the dogs is they're allowed inside the base because they do a lot of my hauling. And so... Oh, Citra, are you... Yeah, she's loading these up. The problem is... they The materials get... Did you see that right there? Watch, Watch this. So this is how quickly it gets done. She literally just drops it and pulls those immediately. It takes like not even a second to uh, renew the process. So in terms of efficiency there, it works really well. It's just, it's difficult to keep them stocked. Um, because she's cooking so fast that she's pulling materials out of there really quickly. Which leads to clowns like Citra running back and forth constantly replenishing it. And that means that the cooler gets warmed up. So or excuse me, the freezer gets warmed up. So I haven't found a good way to balance that. Keeping this topped up, but keeping this cold without having people constantly coming and going. I have this set to minus 20, by the way, just to give us a little bit of a buffer. It looks like she finally had something else to do, so that's good. And yeah, we'll just let that happen. Bragg's making us some floors. What is everybody else doing? You're still researching, of course. You're cutting stone blocks. That's nice of you. We do need those for construction. Mergo's cleaning. Do you really not have anything better to do? I guess we don't need anything planted, so... Yeah, I mean, when these need harvesting, she'll go do that. But until then, she doesn't have a lot going on. It looks like Zima's going to make us another power core, because we are done on components. Ooh. Do we need that though? Let's um let's set that to one out of one. Because I don't want her using up uh these refined things. We need them for other stuff, and we don't need another component right now. Or excuse me, another power core right now. So we're actually gonna have her stop that. And yeah, she'll make some more refined adamantium instead. Actually, we need more refined ceramite. We need a lot more. The problem is it says Mirage is working on that. What are you doing? You're building floors. So, where, like, what did you start and not finish that's preventing us from moving forward? The, those are all finished. So, I want you making refined ceramite. 
Hmm. I don't know. Oh. That. Just cancel it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that fixed it. So she'll start making more ceramite now. And once we hit 15, we should have enough to complete this. And then we'll be able to start making weapons. Or at least las guns. Las guns, las pistols. Um, I'm sure there's other stuff that we've researched at this point. But yeah, just the basic stuff for now. Um, we're not too far off of something slightly more advanced. But for now, you know. And then we've already had the ability to make the... Uh, Chainswords and stuff. Browning machine guns, auto guns, chainswords. I wish I had known about the auto guns earlier because we could have been making those rather than using like bolt action rifles. Obviously, they're superior, and I'm pretty sure we've had the ability to make those since the beginning, uh, along with the chainswords. So, uh, if you guys are starting to play along with me now, keep that in mind that you have access to those pretty early, and they are definitely superior to, you know, bolt action rifles and other things. Although range-wise, I think the bolt action rifle is superior, so that's something to consider. There's your auto gun, range is 31, and your bolt action rifle is 37, so a little bit. But I mean, the ability to rapid fire is pretty nice, so you gotta kinda take that into consideration as well. Looks like uh, Graith is harvesting that for us. She's been kind of taking over a lot of Murgo stuff. Murgo is getting less useful. I feel bad saying that, but, you know, she is still a good character. We, we're not going like, to get rid of her or anything. It's just, um, she did a lot of our farming for us, whereas now there's other people that are kind of better at it. Um, yeah, Graith is better and more passionate about it. She's also quite the builder and uh, leveling up fast in that as well. By the way, that's another reason I gave her the sniper rifle. Uh, not just that because she's fairly good at shooting and passionate about it, but she's a careful shooter. So I felt that it made more sense to give her something like that that's more accuracy dependent rather than something like, say, uh, you know, rapid fire gun that wouldn't really benefit from her particular trait. If somebody was like a, uh, like trigger happy, for example, they would be better with like an auto gun or something, but she's not, so it didn't make sense. Um, Liara, you could. Butcher iguanas, you know. In fact, I'd prefer you did that. Um, yeah, go go butcher some iguanas. Then we'll get meat. We'll use those. And I, I don't like wasting the rice on simple meals when we don't have to because it's it's more resource efficient to use a little bit of each rather than a lot of one. And you know we get better quality meals out of it. What are you doing? Oh, so she's actually going to haul stuff to there now. Cool. Well, we'll let her do a couple of those, and then once that is topped up, we'll get her back to cooking. But for now, that's fine. And let's see. This cutout here is where the res uh, the resource dispenser, the, the nutrient paste dispenser is going to go. But obviously, without any prisoners, no point in having that there yet. Douglas, I feel bad about you sleeping out in the with the heat. I was going to say the cold, but it's not It's not cold here. Not even a little bit. Remy, what are you up to? You're just cutting blocks and dropping them off? Okay. Uh, looks like you're giving us granite for the floors. That's cool. Um, we're going to need limestone as well to get walls built, but um, you know what? How much granite is there? Let's, let's cool your jets on the granite. Yeah, let's bump that up so we get limestone cut. Because there should be plenty of limestone. Actually, there's no limestone here, so they're going to have to haul it. Ooh, I don't see limestone chunks anywhere. Oh, there's some over here. Okay, so he's going to have to hike all the way over there to grab it. And then I believe that's metal. I queued up some... Yeah, this is all limestone here. So they, they can tear that down for limestone as well, and that one. So there's limestone around. We're just going to have to hike a little bit for it. Let's see, so Kovi is healed, or at least partially healed, and wants to join us. We will accept him. We got a new recruit. And let's take a look at your skills again. So, we could use you for 
negotiating and trading, but I probably wouldn't use you as like a, a warden or a jailer just because you aren't capable of violence. So if you need to, you know, put a prisoner in line, you're not going to be able to do that. We could get you crafting just simple things to level this up, and then you could do research for us as well. I wouldn't mind you cooking either. I don't know that he can do fine meals with a cooking skill that low, though. I don't remember what the minimum is, but he could make simple meals, or or he could do kibble or something for us, or, you know, pemmican. Any of those, really. But let's see. We'll get him set to one, one. You aren't going to be doctoring. Two for bed rest. Uh, that should be... Well, actually, I had Halleck at three on purpose, because that way he should doctor other people before he, you know, goes and rests himself. So let's see, Wardening, we'll have you set to 4, Jailer 4, Negotiating, we can put it 2, Cooking, I'll put it like 3, because I again want you kind of doing that, Smithing, uh, yeah, we'll have like 2 and 2, you know what, let's set that to 3 as well, and Hauling and Cleaning will leave on 3, Research will put on 4. I don't need him hauling and cleaning so much because I already have I already have um, Cashin doing a lot of that. So I don't think I need to get her any help. She seems to be handling the cleaning pretty well. And then hauling gets done by animals too, so she shouldn't need more human help with that either. Um, so we'll get a new name for him as soon as I can, um, probably before next episode. And I think we'll cut it here for today, guys. Again, I apologize that this is kind of, uh, you know, just a work episode. We didn't have a battle or anything super interesting like that. But you guys got to see more of sort of like the day-to-day -day operations that I usually leave off camera. Um, which I think gives you guys at least a better idea of what, you know, most of our characters' roles are when they're not shooting at things. Um, the next episode, I will try to hold off recording until we have something more interesting happening just so we don't get like two of these back to back in the meantime i'm going to try to add a little bit more um, energy production to our grid i think this is new you might not have seen this i don't know i lost count of these but going to continue adding more wind turbines um we already have a geothermal generator there again the others are pretty far out to the point where expanding to get them into our you know, grid is going to be difficult. They're all they're all the way out here, so we have one there, one there, one there. Kind of in like a an arc. But we'll figure something out. Eventually, I do plan to build into this area, and so that might be an easier way to connect this. And realistically, we could just um, link these together and run it through a single point. Although, I do like to have redundancy in my grids for, you know, if somebody attacks the conduit, like right here, we lose all three of those. Don't like leaving that as an option, so... We'll see, we'll figure something out, I'm sure. Um, do want to start building the outer defenses pretty soon as well, but we've got a lot of construction happening here and here still, so once that's done, then we can probably focus on that. But we'll see. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so just going to keep getting stuff done. Hopefully by the time we come back, this will be done as well, but we'll certainly see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some RimWorld with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode. <laughs>